What's up guys, John here. The weapon cards for each of the new weapons coming in the Battlefield 1 DLC They Shall Not Pass were revealed today in the Community Test Environment, or CTE, with an interesting twist. You have to unlock them. Each weapon has different requirements in order to unlock them for use. The prerequisites range from kills with a specific weapon variant or various ways to assisting your team through resupplies or revives. For example, the RSC-1917 Factory requires 50 kills with the M-1907 SL Sweeper as well as 50 revives before you can use the new weapon. First up is the Ribe Roll 1918. This is the factory variant of the new submachine gun for the Assault class. There may be a couple more variants to come in future CTE updates before the official launch of the DLC. You can unlock it by performing 50 kills with the automatic M1918 factory and getting 20 headshots with the MP18 optical. Next up is the Lobel Model 1886. As speculated, the Lobel Model 1886 will be available to the Scout class. At the moment, only the Infantry variant and the Sniper variant are available. For the Infantry model, you must perform 50 kills with the Gewer M95 Infantry as well as perform 20 spot flare assists. For the Sniper model, you must perform 5 headshots in a round with the Russian 1895 Sniper and perform 10 periscope spot assists. Next are the Sosha models. The Sosha may be one of the most iconic World War I weapons for the French Army, and it'll be playable through the support class. We've only seen the telescopic and low weight versions so far. For the telescopic model, in a round you must perform 15 kills with the M1909 Benet Mercy Telescopic. For the low weight model, you must perform 50 kills with the Lewis Gun Suppressive and perform 75 resupplies. Next is the RSC 1917. The RSC factory has quite a bit of stability to the weapon. Right now, the weapon is going to be a staple choice. The optical variant of the RSC boosts its accuracy, but heightens the recoil per shot. For the factory model, you must perform 50 kills with the M1907 SL Sweeper and at least 50 revives. For the optical model, you must perform 15 kills in a round using the auto-loading 8.35 factory and perform 75 heals. Next is the Siagrin Inertial model. Shotguns dominate close quarter combat, and the Siagrin Inertial aims to continue the trend. While only the factory version was shown, I imagine there will also be a slug variant as well. For this model, you must perform 50 kills with the Model 10A Slug and in a round, perform 15 kills with the M97 Trench Gun Hunter. In addition to the primary weapons, Battlefield 1's DLC will also allow you to access three new melee weapons. The Trench Floor, Nail Knife, and Cogwheel Club. To unlock the Trench Floor, you must perform 50 kills with the US Trench Knife. To get the Nail Knife, you gotta perform 50 kills with the Shovel. For the Cogwheel Club, knock out 50 kills with the Club and it's yours. Of course, weapons aren't the only new additions coming in They Shall Not Pass. New maps will be available as well as a new game mode and vehicles. In case you missed it, DICE released an official trailer for the new Frontlines game mode. The trailer features gameplay of the new weapons as well. The new expansion for Battlefield 1, titled They Shall Not Pass, will be released in March 2017 on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Looking forward to this DLC? Which weapon will you aim to unlock? Let me know in the comments. And remember to like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more Battlefield 1 content. You're watching eSports on PvP Live.